watch me reinstall this lace front wig. Um, I got this wig from Amazon. Um, and this is this will be the second install. So just come with me while I do that, y'all. So right now I'm just blow drying and making sure everything is good to go. I'll link the actual unit in my bio. So yeah. Let's get started. Okay, so start off with uh, molding my hair down. I'm gonna use this got to be glued gel um, just so I can protect my edges and my hair a little bit more. Sorry if I keep playing with the zoom in, zoom out, trying to get the best view for y'all. So um, yeah, I'm gonna put this all over the front portion of my hair. Um, the way I put, I slick my hair back was, it, it's kind of crazy but i just did it really quick because i'm in the military i'm always wearing buns so like i just separated it in the back and just braided two braid two pigtails basically so now i'm gonna um show y'all how i put my um wig caps on so fitted it to my head really nice made sure that it looked a little bit see-through um and then i cut right by the ear um, to make a little hole so it can stay uh, put while I put on my got to be spray in order to keep the front portion of the um, wig capped on. So then I'm also going to blow dry on high, um, not cool, um, but on high um, in order to dry the actual uh, got to be spray. And then I'm going to make sure on the side of my ears that I'm really pressing down so once I cut the, for the portion underneath my ear like this, it'll stay without moving. But once you cut it, you have to then reapply the got to be spray to make sure that once you cut the other half, it's not gonna pull off the tension. Okay, so I skipped the part where I showed y'all that I was putting um, the makeup on my wig cap just to make sure that it blended in with my skin very well so it looked a little crazy don't judge me but right now um, i'm on my third layer of glue um you want to do this like i said my third time you want to do this like two to three times just to make sure um you got a good layer of um tacky glue so that your wig sticks on very nicely. So once I put that on, I'm gonna grab the rat tail end of my comb and I'm gonna smooth it over, both blending the wig cap and the glue together, um, also helping the wig cap um, be more translucent. Um, you're gonna do this and then you're gonna wait until your glue is translucent. No white, just translucent. Just smoking a little bit hookah. So I know y'all see a little bit of white, um, that'll happen. I think I was actually just in a rush to be honest, but um, this is the, as best as I'm gonna get it. This is as raw and uncut as it's gonna get. I'm not filtering, I'm not gonna show y'all the perfect version. This is raw and uncut, like how it is as a beginner trying to reinstall this wig. So y'all know y'all on the right track. Cause I hate seeing those videos where like people make it look all perfect. and. It does not look like that girl. So yeah, um, I made sure that I pulled the edges that I already had pre-made on the last install um, out of the actual um, front portion of the lace. That way it doesn't get stuck down in the wrong ways um, when it comes to like putting like uh, the glue or the uh, spray on. Um, So I'm going to push this all the way a little bit past the front line of the glue and I'm going to press down with my finger. Trust the process y'all, I know it does not look blended yet, but trust the process. So um, as I'm doing that, I start from uh, the middle and then I work my way down the sides. Um, you want to make sure you got the middle portion in the right portion, so that's why you start there. Start in the middle and then you go down the sides until you reach like the tip 
um, the ending of your um, eyebrow and then you pick a side and then you begin to lay down and pull as you get um, the glue and the lace in place. So right now I'm just gonna clip my hair up just to get it out the way. I pulled the edges out, um, telling y'all what I did again. And now it's time for the first um, lay down of the lace. So once you do that, you just wanna tie that real quick and we're gonna do this again. So you just wanna initially put the lace on the glue where you want it to be. And then after this dries for about 15 minutes, you'll go in with uh, your second um, tie down so right now I put the edge wax stick on my um, front portion of my hair and then I'm using my hot comb to give it that nice natural look and glow and shine um, in the front portion of my hairline so it's been 15 minutes I'm gonna take off the the band or the lace it's not a band y'all i use some type of silk tie but most people use bands um, i think they're both as effective so yeah so now it's time to go in with uh, some foundation over my lace you're not going to put a lot you're going to put just a little bit um you don't want to make it um cakey so you're just going to do just small portions um you'll have to probably do this um throughout your duration of wearing your actual um wig but now that I put the makeup on, it's time to go in with the next layer of Got To Be Spray. So as y'all see, it, it melted flawlessly. So you'll put spray a little bit on your finger and then you'll just push down into the lace. Um, most of the time, my sides don't lay down on the first time. So I'll just um, go in with some spray, add some glue to get those sides uh, nice and glued down. So right now I'm gonna take some glue and put it underneath the end portion of the lace to glue it down to perfection. I'm gonna still continue to go in with that got to be spray. <laughs> and yeah. So now that y'all can see the lace is looking really good, I'm gonna tie her down yet again for another 15 minutes. And my lips is getting a little dry, putting on my little Fenty. To be honest y'all, it still didn't really hydrate my lips, but whatever. It looked hydrated, but her lipsticks, lip gloss, whatever you want to call them, they be freaking kind of like burning. They don't feel moisturized at all. So, got to wait this 15 minutes. I'm trying to see what else I can do. <laughs> okay. So uh, as I'm still waiting, it's past the 15 minute mark, but I'm just gonna keep it on to get it extra, extra, extra melted. So right now I'm gonna start curling my hair. Um, I actually didn't wind up using this curler, but this is the last piece of video feed I have for y'all. So um, I'm gonna use this and then I'm gonna spray, got to be spray over it to hold the curls, um, give it a nicer uh, finish and let it la make it last a little bit longer. So yeah, um, as I said, I didn't really use that curler. I wound up using my flat iron. So yeah, that's what made me get these perfect curls right here. They're not perfect, but they're perfect enough for me. A little basic. So um, as I said, I'm gonna go in with that wax stick again to re-perfect the front line, the front hairline of my lace um, after all of the styling and pulling and tugging and uh, tying down of everything. You wanna continue to do this stuff to keep it flawless. Um, so yeah, I also did it um, in the part portion. So I put a little bit of the wax stick um, on the middle portions of the hair. That way it can also lay down and shine and gloss. 
Okay, now it's time to go in and fix these edges up, girl. So as I said, this is a reinstall. It's not as easy um, because you're trying to make sure that no, not one hair is out of place. So yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my flat iron to curl my edges. That way when I put the uh, got to be spray on there, um, I'm able to already have an effective curl um, coming off of the swoop like this. So boom, got it together. It's gonna take me a few minutes because I'm, like I said, I wanna make sure not a hair is out of place. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna do that to all pieces of the edges and make sure that they're as cute as I would like them to be. And then once I have them in place, I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer on low heat. Now it's time for the other side. As I'm finishing up this side, I'm also preparing myself to tie down my edges um, because I have to do my makeup and I still gotta get dressed. So I want this to be as perfect as possible. So I'm gonna tie her down one last time. And this is the finishing look. Cute. 